Welcome back, welcome back, ODH TV. We are at the final episode of Power Book 2 Ghost, Season 4, Episode 10. And we've got to deal with the aftermath of Noma taking out Monet. This should be a wild episode. I don't know how they're going to close out all these storylines in an hour. I mean, at least give us an hour and a half or something. Which, of course, they won't, because I don't even think the writers know what they're doing at this point, speeding through this whole season. But like I said, we have all the main characters wearing black, except for McLean, because he's at his hearing. And also Anya, she's wearing white. Noma changes into black later on. What does that mean? Anything or anybody could go in this last episode. They have to close a lot of storylines, so let's see what they do. But back to McLean, we have him at his hearing, trying to get his law license back, which I don't think is going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets more charges. But he did tell Tariq, if Carter has something on him, he needs to get something on Carter. And I think that's why, since they were holding him in that garage, they had to let him go. And that's why we see him free here. It looks like he's back at the precinct. I don't think he's going to tell anybody what happened. But I think that frees us up to go back to my other theory. I still believe Tate's going to come back and take Carter out. But we definitely have Effie here at Carter's house on his laptop. I don't know if she's going to find the footage of the murder of Zion or if she's going to find maybe dash cam footage on Kamal Tate's car that shows his death. Then that way they could notify Tate and Tate could show up and do his old dog thing and take this dude out. But they didn't give us much in the trailer. But what I don't understand is how does Carter keep getting the drop on everybody? Do they not understand what's going on or how to hold a weapon? What's, what's happening here? And when they go on this mission to get Noma, who is Diana shooting at that makes Tariq upset? Because he's asking her, what's wrong with you? What are you thinking? Could she have been shooting at Anya? Then you know in this last part, we have Kane in the shootout with the police. And he definitely gets shot because that is blood splatter coming out of his arm. So if they don't try to make Kane go out like Kanan did in the original Power when he had his shootout with the police, then it could be a setup for a spinoff. And if he survives this shootout and doesn't go to jail, he's going to have to go on a run. So are we going to see him down in Atlanta with his cousins? How's this going to work out? But let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll be back in the next one.